as we sort of throw ourselves into the deep end from a, a development perspective and start running these systems in production, what else are we going to need to do that successfully? And how does that ultimately support, you know, building great products for customers? Yeah. I mean, I think from a from a software development perspective and from a product management perspective, it, it means you're going to have to be able to pierce the veil and go all the way into production. Um, there, you no longer have, for the majority of services, this division between what's happening pre-production versus what's happening in production. You're going to have to be able to see it all the way through. I think the other problem that that comes out of these microservice architectures is that what used to be best practice from a testing perspective is, well, if I can make pre-production and production direct mirrors of one another, then if I if I test it in pre-prod and it works in pre-prod and it works in staging, I know if I deploy it correctly in the same way every time, it's actually going to land in production and going to work once it gets there. But in microservice architectures, you just don't know that anymore because you don't know what the state of all the services are and where all the dependencies are. So you're going to have to figure out how to be able to roll into production slowly, get present, get deployed into production, and then start to release and put traffic at that service and figure out if you're in a good state. And if you're not in a good state, be able to roll back quickly and get back get back to a level, right? And I think most services are going to have to go through that transition over time. It's, it's not going to be easy. I think, you know, it does put in a tremendous amount of... Uh, onus and pressure on observability um, and really actually understanding what you're dependent upon as a software team and as a software application. And not all of that comes naturally. I think that's uh, gonna be a learned skill that most teams are gonna have to wrestle with. And then I think also from an operations perspective, I still think that that process of letting go is really important. 